think if, if we're going to stick with the with the beef metaphor, that this is in fact uh, within the context also of a reality show, kind of a hip hop beef, right? And a hip hop beef almost by definition benefits at least one or both of the parties. Uh, mm -hmm. And I, I think so in this sense, anything that provides distraction is a positive. And so this actually represents a new type of distraction that is interesting as drama, mm. but you never know if it's real or fake. I would even posit that it's possible that these tapes actually are completely fabricated. The, the quality of the tape is too good. Uh, it, 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 the whole thing kind of smells funky to me. Uh, well, and when you say that it's like a beef where both sides benefit because of the conflict is what escalates and elevates them to some degree. Of course, Rich, this goes to the, the famous saying, what's beef? Beef is when you need two tweets to go to sleep. Right. And Ari, you began with that analogy that the White House is a reality show and Trump likes to conduct it like a reality show. The problem with all that metaphor is that we are not viewers, we are citizens. Mm -hmm. We deserve better, and we cannot opt out of this reality show on our terms. The world, in many cases, is going to fire, and then we are sort of saddled with all this mess, and we are distracted, as Michael has said. And so, this business of, and to your point, what about Scaramucci, what about Pruitt? It's just a parade, horror show of, of disastrous hires, and some, are in the vein of reality show and some are just sheer incompetence. So distinguishing between incompetence and reality TV is becoming more difficult. Well, and, and, well let me say, Michael.